hello guys well it's actually a cold morning and slightly drizzling um this is our young farm and um we have done our weeding about twice now and this is about the fifth month to be frank with you this is an aspect of yam farming that is a little bit stressful and it's something that we need to pay attention to but i have done weeding twice but as you can still see you still they've come up again in this part of the country we have very fertile soil but so we have to really contend with weed for our crops to do very well but let me show you something i've started weeding again for the third time um we we did a video some time ago and we're talking about timing of events in yam farming to maximize profit so i started within again for the third time but i must confess it's quite capital intensive um this is an aspect that needs attention but the thing is this i don't want to be using herbicides to a very large extent i care for the soil i'm an advocate of you know taking care of the soil very well but weed is also a problem and i'm a commercial young farmer how do i contend with all this and i'm sure you are there especially for the commercial young farmers you have this kind of challenge so we need to solve this problem where we have to contend with weed and we also want to care for the soil so what do we do i started an experiment so that's what i want to show you and that's what this video is all about so let's get started so guys i started an experiment i started to do an experiment with cover crops uh, I've learned that cover crops, they help to suppress weed and to also increase soil fertility. But the experiment started, let's say from here. In this place, I harvested potatoes. And um, you remember there was one potato uh, in sack that I did. I harvested the potatoes and I left the vines here. So they started germinating on their own. And of course, there was also weed coming up, but I decided to see how this will go. So I did not even bother so much to remove the weed and the um, potato vines, they started growing. But what I noticed was that the amount of weed was, was relatively reduced. So that I said to myself, it is possible that I can use this to uh, do my yam cover crops. So I now went to my farm a segment in my yam farm to start this experiment that i noticed yeah, this was just an observation but let's go to see how it has helped me i decided to start using cover crops in certain areas of my farm just to actually um, do an experiment there are several crops that can be used as cover crops we have um, melon the the one we call popularly call a, a goosey around here we have um, sweet potatoes and some other creeping crop but the two major ones i want us to look at today melon slash watermelon or sweet potatoes but what i have used here is sweet potatoes and i'll tell you the reason why i chose sweet potatoes now as you can see this is the same farm where we are having to weed three times but i'm not going to even bother within here anymore because the cover crops the potatoes i'm having here they are just a few i put just in between the yams and look at how they are spread all around and as you can see we have very limited amount of weed here if you look down you see that they have shaded all this small weed that they cannot even come up again but of course it's not a hundred percent stuff you can still have one or two stubborn ones that will just bring out but the beautiful thing about that you can just hand pick those ones and bring them out well it's still something that i'm experimenting on but what i've seen so far is quite encouraging it's quite amazing now the interesting thing about these potatoes they are very cheap to obtain the advantages they are very cheap to obtain and they are very resilient they are very durable another crop you can compare to this is the melon well i posted a short video recently and somebody was saying well instead of potatoes you can use melon yes you can 
But I have a reservation with the issue of melon because my experience with melon, we'll talk about that one in subsequent videos. My experience with melon is that it takes about three to four months and it will just die off and dry off. And of course, after completing the cycle, even though potatoes will take three or four months to produce tubers, the vines can grow all around the year. If you leave them somewhere, they will germinate and start spreading. Even when you don't intend them to even grow, they will just start spreading. So the spread is helping me. It's helping me cover my soil and it's also helping me add fertility to the soil. One other advantage potato has over melon is that once melon starts spreading, although it will cover, no doubt, but the challenge you will have is that once they start flowering and they start fruiting, you are not expected to be moving inside. But for potatoes, you can move anyhow inside the farm. You may compress some vines within one or two days. They will just rise up again like the <laughs> finish from the ashes. They will just rise up and they will start doing their thing. So I really, really like potato, but there's a slight disadvantage. I will also still uh, say it because it's more like weighing the pros and cons between um, potatoes and melon. So the major disadvantage that potato has is that potato is a tuber crop and yam is also a tuber crop. There is always that tendency for competition, the nutrients in the soil. For example, um, this whole vine that I spread, this is the origin where I planted. So hopefully I'm going to get the tubers from here with time. But that's not just the problem. Sometimes these vines can grow, climb on top of the heap, and now also form tubers elsewhere. For example, let's see this uh, vine. Okay, so this is a heap for yam. But one vine just crossed the heap. It's not just crossing, it extended a root down and it's very close to the root of the to the uh, place where the tuba of the yam is going to form. So it is going to also form tuba here. This is another one. So to a very large extent, there will be competition. And this is a, a major disadvantage. For melon, it doesn't have that. Melon is not a root crop. You can plant it anywhere and it will just spread and form fruit eventually, or even watermelon. But then the disadvantage of melon that this potato has a has advantage over is when the leaves they are dried up and your fruits are formed the whole area the whole garden the whole farm will be laid bare and don't forget that the leaves would have added fertility to the soil and so before you know it weed will just spring up and so one of the one of the things that people do is that after they have uh, removed all the fruits of the melon, they now start waiting their farm again. You don't have that with potato. Potato can grow all through the year, so you don't have that problem of it now dying off. Even when you don't want it to grow, it will keep growing. So that is why I prefer potato as a cover crop. But I want to know what you think. I really want to know what you think. I want to know what you have experimented on. We have just considered mainly potatoes and we have considered melon as cover crop. I'm still going to experiment more. I'm looking forward to a situation whereby I have to plant potato and melon on the same farmland and see how they will actually do. Maybe we'll give you feedback later. So at this point, we want to thank everyone that has been supporting this channel. I've been having a lot of feedback. In fact, this vid video is as a result of the feedback I got from one of our subscribers. So let's keep these questions coming in and we'll be ruminating over them to know exactly the best way to proceed with. But one thing you need to understand, your support is helping us. For those who have been sending us thank you messages through the button below, the thank you button below, uh, we appreciate you. We are seeing what you are doing for us and it's encouraging us to do more. For those who don't know how to do that, just go down below. You'll see that thank you button. Just click on it and you'll be given instruction on how to say thank you to us. We we'll always appreciate that. So there are other videos that we are lined up for you. This is the time you should subscribe if you have not done so. 
we uploaded a video on our harvest in our melon farm we want you to look at this short video and subsequently we are going to be bringing you more things about melon farming at this point i want to say thank you so much god bless you